Welcome to my my Strixhaven MTG Arena Premier Draft. All right, Blade Historian, Chalk, Master Symmetrist, Pigment Storm is like kind of okay. Um, do I just run it back with a Blade Historian and like try to like not get messed up and stuff? I don't know. Master Symmetrist is actually fine too, but like I'm just gonna gamble that like Lore Hold is really really open. I think that's the plan. Hmm. Closing statement is really good. This pack is bad in general. Guiding Voice has actually been kind of okay. Like, I, I think it's actually better than I thought it was. Like, I, I thought it was really bad. But I think it's actually been kind of, like, alright. But I think I just take the closing statement. Like, the thing is, if I play this Blade Historian, I don't really want to splash. Because, like, playing Black Sources is makes playing Blade Historian really hard. But I'm not going to, like, it stuck on the Blade Historian. I'm gonna take the closing statement. Guiding Voice is the best white common. Yeah, I think, um... Oh, wait. Do I fall for the trap? Do I fall for the trap? Or do I just take, like... Spiteful Squad or something? Uh, rough. Yeah, we all we all knew that like drafting is way more fun than playing the game. For, let's let's be real. Actually, playing games of draft is is kind of like bad EV or whatever. You just want to take enthusiastic study. You know, you think this is a this is a trap card? Man, I I can't pa I. Professor Birdo's R.A. Yeah, James Jr. I, I can't resist taking this card, even though it's going to make me draft a weird deck around it. You just want to draft... Dra yeah, that's basically me. But you can't get into... You can't get any kind of prestige as a Magic player just based on your draft skills, right? You have to actually be good at playing, too. Oh, this pack makes me kind of sad um do i take reflective golem because there's some potential to make it good or do i take a pledge mage like probably the warhold pledge mage i have seen like a pretty sick reflective golem twin scroll shaman deck though so i know pj trick hates reflective golem you think contorius is a trap yeah it probably is but i, I fell for it So did I take the Golem or the Lorehold Plague Mage? That's what I'm thinking. Just go for the Golem, you know. I think PJ Trick said Golem is basically unplayable. And he's probably right. Whatever. Oh, Twin Scroll Shaman. This is what I wanted in that draft, by the way. Was a Twin Scroll Shaman. But then there's also like a field trip. And a pest summoning. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. Do I just stay open to playing like Abzan garbage? Take like a pest summoning or a field trip. I I think if this is really really open, trick. You still love Golem, yeah. Like if Abzan is open, I think I want to take the pest summoning, but. You can do something really insane with Twin Scroll Shaman, like if you actually build that deck. Like if I took all the um, enthusiastic studies, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna take this speculatively because I think. Oh, okay, never mind. We're just doing this. I think we're just doing this deck, and maybe splash the closing statement. I'm not gonna make that mistake again and like try to force lore hole when it's not open. I'm just gonna take the Dina. Let's not make that same mistake we made in that tournament. Just gambling lessons are really super safe, yeah. Blood Researcher? Hell yeah. 
I mean, there's also a study in a shaman. I'm so tempted to take the study and do, like, this Blade Historian Garbo deck. But I should probably just take the Blood Historian. I mean, Blood Researcher. Blood Researcher. And do what that entails. We're, we're doing inebriated draft right now. That's what's happening. It's inebriated draft. Ooh, another blood researcher and another pest summoning? Oh my god. Let's get out of here. I really want the second pest summoning. But this is gonna be insane if I get all the life gains. Well, I wasn't really going to play any of these cards in, um... I wasn't going to really play any of the cards. Do I want the ingredient or just want Scry Land? I would rather have, like, a green-white Scry Land. No, that's, that's not the thing. You can do black-white Scry Land. But I don't know. Maybe I play ingredient if I get, like, a sack guy. I don't want to do this. I'll take this because it lets me splash closing statement. Uh, the Twin Scroll Shaman Blade Historian deck would have been so good! What? Why are people passing all this? I don't know. Maybe we're just doing something really weird. I'll just take the Leather Receptance, actually. Whatever, I didn't really want that card that badly. This is, like, technically playable in Witherbloom. Technically playable. So bad. I'm just gonna hate some of these, um... Twin Scroll Shaman. That's what I was trying to do earlier, by the way, in, um... You would have taken the Silver Coal Pledge Mage. Please give me a Witherbloom card. No! I guess Doomblade is fine. You just shocked nobody wanted it. I think it's because a lot of people see like a 3 1 for 3 and they go, like, this sucks. Right? I don't know. They just like think it's garbage because it looks like a 3 1 for 3, but it, it, it's. I've actually seen that card be a lot better than it looks. Honestly, I think I just take the Doom Blade and understand that's gonna be bad in like 40% of matchups. Hey, thanks for the raid, 100 pet spam foxes! Fox spam! Hope you're sleeping well. Sorry about the, uh, I, so somebody raided, I think, earlier, but I can't see what's going on because it's really confusing. Oh boy, there's a natural order. Hey, thanks for the follow, Blob Lore. How's it going? Or I think Rise of Exodus. I think Rise of Exodus or Pledge Mage is actually just better. No, I mean, I get natural. I don't have a target for natural order. I should just take the Rise of Exodus. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Rise of Exodus. I I've seen like people do some stupid things with natural order into Bookworm, but I don't actually have that. I need a learn card too. I don't have any learn cards. I don't have like a cram session or field trip. I'll take the Rise. Oh, you got wrecked tonight? Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I was losing a lot also. I was gonna rant on Twitter about it, but then they started another draft. But I hope, I hope, uh, I hope the rest of your evening goes well. Thank you very much for the raid. Big love to uh, 100 pence. Rushed Rebirth. That doesn't do anything. I, know, I think there's like another pest summoning. Hey there, Ghidorah. How's it going? I'm gonna take another pest summoning over Pledge Mage, right? Because I think. This isn't really a Pledge Mage deck, is it? Not really. We have like... Four spells to trigger it. I think I actually want the Pest Summoning more. With two Blood Researchers. But I really want to get more, um, Learn Guys if I can. Be nice, like, I could probably play Cramps. Ooh! Wait. No! Overgrown Arch. Overgrown Arch or Rise of Exus number two. Overgrown Arch with Dina. 
Have you seen the combo? Overgo Arch with Blood Researcher, that's a combo. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the Arch. I really, I would like another s removal spell, but... Wait! Uh... Wait, what? Uh... Do you see what's happening here? Sedgemore Witch. Flunk. Eliminate. What is going on at this table? I don't get it. I'm gonna take the Sedgemore Witch, because this card's insane, but... I guess I'm the only black drafter. Yeah, I'll take it. Good drafting, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you should've saw my draft, um... Just saw my draft. Oh, Lashimalus is great. That's like a Lashimalus. What is this? Pass caller? No, you just saw my draft in the book club tournament. I I got thrown off by two academic disputes and they um I saw two academic disputes and they um a rip apart and I tried the four's lore hole and it was not open at all. Green is not open though. I guess it was basically just black splash some green cards. It's fine with me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eye twitch, necrotic fumes, and a hunt. It's gotta be eye twitch, right? So I can sack it. My god. I would love this necrotic fumes also with the hunt, but man, that's like the hunt. The, the eye twitch, I mean. Jeez. Leia has had the same thing, no one takes black cards. Yeah, I think it just kind of varies the table. Like, I think most of the time. Lore hold is really open, red white is really open, but here it's like other is open. I don't think I want a second golem. I don't have anything that is good with two golem. I don't really want to play an arrogant poet, but this actually might be like okay because I have a lot of life gain to like offset it. I don't think I want the combat trick. Uh, these wow, that shouldn't wheel, but I guess I'll take this two three, and hopefully not play it. Yeah, we're supposed to play mono black. I'll take the life gain card. I think over the biblioplex assistant. This is basically mono black. By the way, don't get like confused about it. I'm not gonna play any of this. Whatever. Like the Silver Pool Campus, let's make play closing statement. <laughs> 13th pick flunk. Alright. I have no idea what's going on. Like there's my mon like I said, mono black play a blood two blood researchers and an overgrown arch. And a closing statement. That was a witch pack, yeah. The witch the witch and the flunk came back. Ooh, life gain card, yeah. I'll we'll take life gain combat trick. Hmm. I kind of want to take this hunt for specimen over the master symmetrist, to be honest. But the thing is, black is so open, there's a chance the hunt wheels. Do I take the rise and hope the hunt wheels, actually? I think if I take the rise, there's a chance the hunt wheels. I do think Master Symmetrist is good too, but I think I take the second rise and I hope that this hunt wheel because it feels like nobody's drafting black. Hey there pseudonym, how's it going? I'll take the second rise. Oh, hunt now, I think. Hey, thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Hope, hope things are going well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I take this this hunt now. Try to get more. Yeah, that's a good point. About the fractals and stuff, we're not doing that. This is basically mono black. Flash a few green cards. I'm not gonna play Golem, I don't think. This deck. I'd like another Blood Researcher, it would be kind of decent. We could get one. We'll take the hunt now. Necrotic Fumes, Blood Researcher. There's a few things I'm kind of looking for. Build this out. On my spell wise, I'm at 10. I would actually play like the life gain combat trick in this deck. I think it's actually okay here. But. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Yeah, only uh, when I pretend to be Batman. I don't know. 
Actually, is everybody Batman at some point? I don't know. Or, or somebody was like, someone was saying like, oh, wow. Do I just do it? Titan with a double pest summoning? I'm doing it right. Mage Hunter's Onslaught is totally reasonable too, but man, Titan, double pest summoning, I'm gonna do it. Can I get like a Zephyr Boots? Zephyr Boots me. That was not a Zephyr Boots. I think I'll still take the field trip over Cram. We don't want Veil actually. Veil's actually not bad either. That's close. I guess I'm not ramping in anything besides the rise. Maybe it's Veil. It's good to protect Dusk Maid. Sorry, not Dusk Maid, but said more Witch. I can protect Damagoth. I don't really think protecting Damagoth Titan really matters that much. I'm thinking either Veil or Field Trip. I'm not sure really. I think Veil could be pretty good for said more Witch. Blood Researcher number three, yeah, it's pretty good. I would take the field trip if I was actually ramping into anything, but the only thing I could ramp to is Rise of Exodus, which isn't really super crazy. The Blood Researcher number three. I think Snakeskin Veil is pretty good in um, Witherbloom, because most of the time you just want to protect your really important creature, like your Dina or your whatever Damagoth Titan, so they just don't like remove it. And then you like feel bad after you like sack a creature to the Damagoth Titan and they just like kill it and it's like gross. Yeah, Super Sazo, yeah, I got raided. I got a huge raid from Hunter Pence, by the way. That was really awesome. I forgot to start Stream Raiders because I was like thinking about, oh, Infuse of Vitality or Field Trip. That's really close. Are you on Infuse of Vitality or Field Trip? That's what I would think about. I, I forgot to start Stream Raiders because I was like thinking about stuff. Field Trip does give me more access to my pests. Infuse of Menace. Yeah, I guess it's life gain. We have three of the life gainers. I think I actually might play Cram Session in this deck. I do like Infuse of I do like the um the field trip. I think I might actually play Cram here because I have three blood researchers. And it also gets me my pest summonings. Kinda good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play the I might play Cram here. This is like not a card I would normally play, but with three blood researchers and Dina, I think it's actually relevant. Like, and it gets my pests. Rushed Rebirth. I think it's Plum, actually, because I can plumb away, like, pest tokens. And it's not, like, the worst. You can also plumb away, like, if plumbing away Titans isn't really doing this isn't doing it. It's lesser mana value, it's not good. I'm gonna take the Plum. Accumulate. Oh, the Hunt Wheel! Yeah! We did it. I'm gonna take this hunt because it's really good in this deck. These are all pretty bad. This is quite disappointing, but fine. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play this Dusk Mage either. It's only good with the um snakeskin veil. Guest speaking in the Witherbloom camp. Yeah, ooh, Agonizing Remorse. I might, I might actually play it. I, I kept seeing so many people play Agonizing Remorse against me on turn 2 and 3. It was pretty insane. Even though, I, I don't think Agonizing Remorse is as good as... Ooh, Access Tunnel, okay. Maybe. Playing a Demogoth Titan with an Access Tunnel is a little weird. Right? I think it's actually still worth... Um, it's still worth splashing the um, the clothing statement because it's so good. And two campuses, but we'll see. I 
Access tunnel and Dina, and it's like, oh wow, yeah, that's a combo, G. Yeah. Oh, that's a really sick combo. Nice combo. That was really good. What? About 12 creatures. I mean, I technically have like way more creatures because these hunts, like the specimens or creatures, also, right? Just like, take out the test summonings. You don't need leather. I don't think we need leather for acceptance here. Like, it does help pay for the uh, closing statement. But I guess, I don't know. I'm, like, kind of, no, I guess I don't need Poet. Poet seems bad. I don't have any way to stack this stack counters on that. If I had way to stack counters on the Poet, I'd be, like, way more into it. But not really. I mean, these are, these are basically two-drop creatures, actually. The, um... The hunts are two drop creatures. I, I don't know. I'm like maybe on the remorse because it's just a bad, such a terrible top deck. It's like the reason I don't want to play it. I don't know. I think it's really bad. Pledge Mage is actually all right with the Blood Researchers because it can pump the researchers after casting a spell. Plum's like actually kind of like okay with um the Eye Witch and the um. Maybe cut the combat trick. That's a really good idea, Goldfinger. Let's see. Kind of like, let's see, what do I want to cut? How many learn cards do I have total? One, two, three, if I play Cram. Actually, I might not need Cram, right? Because I have two hunts to learn. I might just cut the cram, because I have two hunts, and I have two rises to learn already, and I only have, um, two pests. I think cram's, like, fine, but I don't know if I strictly need it. I, I didn't take anything super high over it. Oh, yeah, I Witch also learns, too. I Twitch. I think this is actually what I want to run. So we have, like, two lessons, which is the pest summonings, which are going to be good in the deck. And Arch can also learn, yeah, true. We can sack it when it's, like, not good like learn yeah i, I kind of like i said i like this the way this is this deck turned out actually it's pretty it's pretty gas it's not as gas as um the deck that um that him the turok guy played against me man his deck was insane or they were just like absolutely insane he had like 12 removal spells in his deck it was like disgusting but anyways all right. Uh, big thanks to Hunter Pants for the raid, by the way. It was really nice. I think I'm going to ship the... Let me check the... Oh, 20 black. 9 green. This is funny. It's funny because I actually need, like, the green sources to cast, like, the researcher. But, like, I probably have to throw away any hands that don't have black in them, which is awkward. But I think the closing statement is so good, I still want to play it. You just, you just get rid of the planes and just, like, yeah, just play another swamp. Yeah, I could probably do that. I wish I had environmental sciences for the closing statement. Sucks. But I guess we could be a little greedy. You don't have to cast closing statement early. This is a little greedy. Maybe I should just actually just cut access tunnel and play another swamp. I think I actually that's right. Cause they need black mana so badly that they think I actually cut the access tunnel. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut the access tunnel even though I really like that card normally. I just need black sources really bad in this deck to function. Yeah, I think this is actually what I want to run. It feels like blasphemy to say like I'm cutting access tunnel. In the deck, I'll, I'll play like almost anything. It was like I just like playing access tunnel in all the decks. But uh, anyways, let's see. Let's see. Save this. Uh, add Zan things. See how we go. Best of one. Best of one is just like a, one of those things you just can't um assume you're gonna do really well based on like your deck looked good during the deck building because, like, there's just always going to be, like, something that happened, right? And the first pick of the draft was Blade Historian, go figure. 
Right. But anyways. If you like this video, please check out the stream at twitch.tv slash mercurblue.